Okay, this, this does it. Um, this is the line in the sand. I cannot uh, concede any more. This is a line in the sand between Anton and myself, between a communitarian um, and, uh, I will say, a, um, a, uh, somebody who is, is blinded by uh, their own engagement in the language from which they've, they've grown up in. Um, they they have gone on. It's uh, there's a, a particular form of bigotry uh, and bias, and uh, this uh, there's uh, evidence, demonstrable evidence, uh, to the contrary. And a lot of this is going to go in the face of a lot of themes that Anton's putting forth. Um, humans, humans are not naturally counting creatures. They are not naturally um, uh, uh, recursive uh, speaking creatures. They uh, do not naturally uh, use the word not. They don't have naturally these eidetic realms. This is not part of the human sense. This is part of being born into uh, either Occidental or Oriental uh, uh, text-driven languages as well as other oral languages have recursion but there is an exception to the rule which is demonstrative already which which Daniel Everett points out and Noam Chomsky goes against it this goes in the face of so much work but this is why instinctually uh, I have been uh, anti-sympathetic unsympathetic to to Anton. Now, don't get me wrong, I speak English, so I know what not operators are. I know what he's referring to by the eidetic realm. I know what recursion is and embeddedness. I know how to count. But there are cultures and reconsiderations of thesis uh, of, of uh, uh, anthropological linguists uh, going back on their work and, and re-examining it very similar to Daniel Everett's uh, work where there are cultures that do not count, they do not have not operators, they uh, are not recursive, and they, so they don't have embedding in their language. They are uh, what we would call uh, empirical. Okay. Now, I did a string of videos, I try to state these things, I can link up some of the other things. What we have here is we have Corey Anton falling prey as a communitarian, as so many people do, to believing that the uh, structure of the language, the sophistication of the language that they are brought up in is what it is to be human. This is actually a sense, a human sense, and I'm suggesting that this is, this is not the case. It's demonstrable that it's not the case, okay? Um, because we are using this technology, because we have this, this capability um, is like being caught within an atmosphere, all right? But um, there is uh, an exteriority to this type of speaking, this type of language, which one may wrongly call a primitive language, okay? And I say primitive because it does not include the counting, the eidetic realm, the not operators, and the cursion itself. Okay, and so what we have here is we have Anton making uh, a huge mistake and a huge assumption. This is why, uh, and look up Henry Stanton, read his book, Derrida and Wittgenstein. He's going to address very specifically, and there are other critiques on communitarians, what a communitarian is. And by this, we're stating that there is a, uh, a piety or a bigotry or a blindness to one's own language uh, as being seen as limits because it appears ubiquitous to a lot of the people that use it because counting seems so uh, intersubjectively natural to one that has recursive language. Um, be because it seems natural, there's an assumption that this is what it is, is to be human. So we have people that are making uh, general ubiquitous claims as to what it is to be human when in fact what we have here is 
Um, what we have here are, uh, is a recursive language which has systems, and systems have embeddedness, and embeddedness has hierarchies, and hierarchies uh, are uh, uh, they're similar to uh, social hierarchies, uh, they're similar to uh, authorial positions. Uh, these are all things that we accept, but these are not things that we accept as being human, right? Uh, these are things that we accept as being uh, humans that accept this recursive language. Okay, now it's been pointed out that because I grew up in it, I cannot very well step outside of it. I cannot, I cannot think my way out of being in this recursive language as much as I want to erase uh, or dumb down, uh, uh, throw myself into a drunken stupor or uh, but I do think, you know, perhaps that's why people uh, drink uh, or that's why people uh, try to inebriate themselves is to find more of this lizard brain, this uh, primitive notion, this uh, point where one is able to use language that is not embedded and just simply point, grunt, make sound, make gesture. Okay, so that's the line in the sand. Um, Corey's going to continue this. So this is why I think Corey... As a communitarian, he didn't he didn't catch on to the split that I was making in my last video between onto theological and what I'll now say is communitarian onto communitarian uh, bigotry. There's a parallel there that he's accepting, and the difference between these two is not it, it's it's both of them put into the same category, and it's an exteriority right? An exteriority of both of them. And so what I'm doing is I'm wrapping them together. I'm saying, uh, Corey is like a religion. He kind of reminds me of Mormonism, but it could be any religion in that it is hierarchical. He believes it's part of nature. And then the notion of agency, the notion of where one lands on the hierarchy and his denial of the transcendent God uh, is, is the distinction between the two. But these other things, these embeddedness, the involvement in the systems, uh, the pride, the so forth, uh, that comes along with it, uh, these are all aspects of uh, these are all aspects of uh, belonging to uh, a culture, multicultures, multiple languages, interactive languages uh, that are recursive. But it's also a blindness to that which is outside of that, which is non-recursive language, which is, uh, once again, demonstrable by Daniel Everett's work, okay? And so, uh, as one carries on, as you see Anton carry on his work, right, carry on his dialogue, keep in mind that his generalizations, the things that he, I'm saying in previous video a long time ago, that he's buttressed from the anterior, he continues to buttress off of other like minds, but this might be the difference uh, between um, Chomsky and uh, Foucault's argument, the very root of the difference between those two arguments, um, where Chomsky is going to be on the side of that which is making a general claim about what it is to be human, uh, because he believes that all language recur has counting and has recursion. Okay, a great book you might read. Um, are Azrianok's two books. Uh, he deals with these uh, in, you know, in, in his consideration, and uh, I will, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll put a link below uh, about those. Um, so I, I welcome anyone's point of view on this. Like I said, I, I belong to the language. I cannot erase myself out of it any more so than I am capable of going to uh, the atmosphere uh, uh, or, or going outside of the atmosphere. I can't do it. I belong inside of this gravitational pull. But I'm not going to be so blind. I'm not going to be so obtuse. And I'm not going to generalize. Because when I listen to Anton, sometimes I feel like I'm being thrown back a hundred years. Like thrown back a hundred years and re-guided down another line. And to me, there's something, uh, something to be listened to, something to be learned. But there's also a complete blindness and a complete bigotry that is authoritarianism that's obtuse. It's too much. Yeah. Okay, I've said my piece.